Welcome to the Rustic Garden. This is episode 10 in my community plot series and I want to talk to you about a couple of things. One, August 1st. So you're going to have a lot of plants that are beat up from July's heat, August heat. You don't have to try and save every plant. You can replace them. Right in here are my third wave of determinate tomatoes, which I put in, I don't know, a week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago. They're doing really, really well. Rather than fight a tomato plant that is beat up, has disease, plant some transplants. Get them growing in the beginning of uh, July, late June, and you can replace your plants because the heat of July and August will make your tomato plants and other plants grow extremely quickly and they really get up to speed and start producing. Back there I have my cucumbers. They're really beat up. I could spend two weeks or so trying to save them. That one's even producing right over there, you can see, so it's still bringing in cucumbers. Or you can replace them right now with cucumbers. I started these on July 15th. They're going to replace that cucumber plant and in two weeks, believe it or not, this little plant, these little plants will get to full size and start producing within a week. So two to three weeks, these plants will be producing cucumbers. So you have to decide, do you want to fight and try and save that? Or do you want to have some backup plants ready to go? The other thing I'm going to show you how to do is deal with this problem. Watch this. See all those white flies? Well, that's white flies. So I'll talk to you about how you take care of that problem in your garden. White flies can be really tricky to take care of. If you notice, there aren't many white flies on the tops of the leaves. In fact, you can't really eyeball them until when I shook the plant, you saw them all fly out. They hang out on the underside. So you don't really want to use a dust. That's not gonna to get to the underside. You wanna use a contact spray. That's seven, that's not organic. You could use an organic spray if you want. You could make your own in a spray bottle like that. I've shown I think that bottle in other videos, and this is an organic product, Spinosad. The key for white flies is to make sure you spray on the underside, and I'm going to show you how to do that. They also lay two to four hundred eggs, so you can get an infestation really, really quickly because the female flies will lay eggs all on the undersides. When they hatch and come out to feed, they latch onto the bottom of the leaves, start sucking out the sap. So you want a contact killer that kills the adult white flies, and then you also want something like spinosad that sits on the leaf and when something goes to feed, it ingests the, uh, the bug killer. In this case, remember, this is organic right here if you want to use an organic product. So first step is to inspect your plants, know where the white flies are, and just because actually I don't have too many on here or the plants, this whole section is going to get treated. I'm going to come over to here, spray the tops of these plants over here because when you start spraying, you're going to see the white flies will come and land in other places. And just treat this area. You also need to treat this for about, I don't know, about two weeks because you really need to wipe out the life cycle. You have to kill out the adult flies, which you can see flying around in there, and you have to kill out the eggs. And they hatch about every week. So at least a two-week process, that's probably spraying every five to seven days to take care of the process. So. What I have here is seven. This is not an organic product, but I like it. It's a great contact killer. And you can see, watch. They're all flying as soon as I spray in there. So you want to go through the undersides and spray everything. That will, that will go onto the eggs. That will kill the adults. Once that's done, I'm going to set up my sprayer here with the spinosad and spray the tops of the leaves and the bottom of the leaves. Let me just show you. This is a major infestation and sometimes when you get a massive infestation you just have to treat it with whatever works. If you know organic products work and they're available, use them. If they're not available, don't stress out. Use the chemical products but use them in a sensible way. And I'm going to show you how to take care of white flies that's in, that really have infested these plants. Watch. They're just everywhere and I've already sprayed the underside they're on this plant, coming around this side, right in here. You can see them just swarming. So they're everywhere. So I've sprayed the undersides with a contact killer. And now I'm using Spinosad, which is an organic way to manage pests. And you want to soak everything down. Really, really soak, soak your plant down. The top the undersides, 
spray down on the ground, on the wood, but really treat the plants well with the spinosad or whatever insect spray you're using. Again, the spinosad sits on the leaves and when insects chew on the leaves, they ingest the spinosad and that will kill them off. The seven spray I used is more of a contact killer and kills off insects on contact. Now, because this is an infestation, I'm gonna show you the third level of treatment. And that's actually, once these dry, put dust on the leaves, put a bag over them, and then shake the plant in the bag. And that will give you another level of killing, really, to take care of these white flies. Just make sure it's noon right now. You don't wanna use this bag trick I'm gonna show you in full sun. You wanna do it in the evening. If you do it in full sun, the sun will heat up the bag inside. Your plants will heat up and they will so die. now I'm spraying the surrounding plants that are around where the infestation of white flies are because they will just fly over here and start laying their eggs on other plants. But I wanted to show you a couple things that I thought were interesting. If you have a squash and you start seeing these yellow spots, that's usually powdery mildew on the underside. And you can see this dust right here is from my seven dust. But these spots where my thumb are and all these little patches, that's powdery mildew. You can see it right over here. It can happen on the tops and the bottom of the leaves. And the tops of these leaves were sprayed with a uh, fungicide. There's a cucumber beetle. So there's a lot of pests in here. Let's see, I think now we might as well look for all the pests. Right over there are squash bugs. So this garden's, this plant Actually, this whole garden plot is ready really to be hit with the spinosad and something to control insects because you can see the pests are coming out. But with the powdery mildew, I was using Serenade and it hit the tops of the leaves. It really has controlled it on the tops of the leaves, but it looks like I missed you know, some of the bottom leaves. My point is once you treat something for the first week, like to control powdery mildew or even the white flies, you're going to have to do it again a second time in five to seven days. Can't give you an exact number because you're all using different products. But you really want to treat them initially, again in about a week, and then again in about another week. You want to kill out the life cycle of the pests or the diseases that are attacking your plants. So here's the third level, so to speak, of treatment to kill out an infestation of white flies. And again, you're going to have to do this over a two-week period to really wipe out the life cycle. That is dust. And that's just the quantity that I put on the leaves. Now, I'm doing this more for the video. It's about lunchtime. You want to do this in the evening and then cover them with a bag so you keep the white flies in and then you're actually going to shake the bag. I'm going to do that and show you how to do it. But you would do this in the evening. You don't want to put the bag on in the afternoon and let the bag sit on these plants through a day with full sun or you will kill off your plants. You just do this overnight. That's a way to get the infestation under control. And again, you can use a chemical dust, you can use an organic dust, use whatever product you want to use. I'm not here to sell you on what product to use. I'm just showing you how to take care of an infestation because if you don't, white flies will take out your whole crop. So this is what I would do at about, I don't know, seven o'clock at night. The dust is on the leaves. I put bags over the kales or the infected plants, or infested plants, I should say. These will also uh, infest tomato plants. I've had that happen before. So once the dust is on the leaves, the bag is on, just give it a nice shake. That's moving the dust around in the air. It's moving the white flies around. They can't get away. They're gonna land on the leaves with the dust and that will take care of them. And this is something you may have to do if you have an infestation. And again, I'm gonna stress it one more time. You're gonna to have to do this really regularly over a two week, maybe three week period to get the white flies under control because the hatching eggs will just start the life cycle over again if you don't do that. Hope this gives you some ideas. You don't have to follow it exactly, but please understand the principles. And finally, the cucumbers. Today's August 1st again. These were started July 15th and you can see in about two weeks the root systems have filled up the cups. They were actually started right in the styrofoam cups. This is a national pickling and again replacement plants. Don't be afraid to start replacement tomatoes, cucumbers, squash in styrofoam cups and this way you can replace diseased or beat up plants. And again you want to wait about two weeks at the most, maybe a little bit longer 
and then put your transplants right into the container or the ground and this is what the root system should look like. Any bit longer the roots start to coil at the bottom. Just drop it straight in, fill it in, I can't do that just with a left hand, but that's all you need to do and now you have a cucumber plant that has about two weeks worth of growth. Because it's warm, because you're in the middle of summer, the heat will really get this plant growing. It'll get up to size and you'll have cucumbers in the middle towards the end of August. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustagarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.